New Religion is Coming. In the coming years, there will be the birth of a new religion. What sort of principles will it be built upon? What will it be like? This religion will be the kind of religion that unites all algorithms that have been worked by the four current major monotheistic religions. It will account for all pros and cons. It will account for all mistakes as well as achievements. The key aspect, the key meaning of this religion will be the worship of one God, but not in the way that it is currently happening. The understanding of that will change. It will come closer to the actual meaning of what one truly stands for. So, in this general instance, for the purpose of informational justification, we can rely on Gnostic texts, ancient Gnostic texts, such as the Pistis Sophia. This text will have the greatest impact by the means of its theological influence and theoretical explanations on the formation of the new religion. This will not happen in the near future. It will happen later. Because right now, not all of the systems have finished their projects. Take Christianity, for example. At this time, it is nearing its end. It is evaluating the results. But take Islam, however. It began 500 years later. And although they are applying effective methods to achieve victory and results, still, they do have those extra 500 years. They have that reserve. Overall, talking about a timeline, it should start to happen around the year 2150. So there is less than 150 years left. Many events will come to pass during this time. There will be lots of wars. And wars, especially on the basis of religion, ensue when there are a lot of unfinished tasks that must be completed, while not much time is left. So there is a lot that needs to be done. Thus, much energy will be needed in order to fulfill all of the technical tasks entrusted to religion. The most powerful energy is in the blood. And most of the time, people spill blood in some sort of revolutions or wars, or some catastrophic events. But catastrophic events will have a smaller chance of happening, because they depend on the mother, on Earth. And she may allow a catastrophe to take place, or she may not. But wars are man-made business. And since it is people that for the most part need religion, mother has no need for it. People are also the ones who find themselves wrapped up in it. So, in the upcoming 150 years, one should mentally and physically prepare for it. It is inevitable. Due to the fact that Islam started later, you are also seeing it aggressively making up for lost time, taking care of tasks that it was assigned from the beginning. Take Buddhism, for example also more or less a monotheistic religion. They begin earlier, therefore they are exceptionally more peaceful nowadays. But if we would take a look at what happened on their territory at the conception of Christianity, for example, if we looked at all of that history, there was quite a lot of bloodshed. And also Christianity, during its development, when it needed to solidify itself quickly, they too shed blood without measure. Judaism also began earlier. And nowadays, it assumes an exclusively defensive position and does not shed blood any longer. They have worked out different algorithms for themselves. For example, how to expand by pretending to be something they're not. But in the end, there will come a time to submit the balance, a time to take stock, to assess the results. And this result, whatever it will be, such will be the religion. And of course, it is of interest to all parties, and that includes the old forces, that this new religion is maximally impeccable. It will have a space for everyone, because everyone worked for the idea. Everyone just had its own epic to do it. And the old gods, who at this time stepped back from the action, that doesn't mean that they will be excluded from participating in this process. And all the main algorithmics, which are now being parasitized by monotheism, they were originally coined by polytheism. Thus, the new religion must, of course, take into account all and everything. And that includes mistakes, victories, achievements, losses. And it must run on an authentic operating system and not on a made-up artificial one. Meaning that our system of three circles is an ideal foundational operating system. In it, everything connects together. 
and it is not divided by someone's rules, rules that may be needed for the development of one particular system, but are completely useless for the development of others, other worlds, other systems and fundamentals. I assume that if everything goes according to plan, not without calamities of course, then the religion that we will come to actually will be closer to being perfect compared to the ones that we have now. It is just that religions, especially emerging religions, must first go through the individual journey of maturing. They must acquire their individual experience and to grow their own existential volumes. And then they rightfully will join as active participants, as craftsmen, as Hiram, in the building of this new temple, the temple of true faith that Jesus talked about, that there will be built a temple of true faith, and in it there will be no priests, no rabbi, no other intermediaries or facilitators. Read the Bible. If you don't like the Bible, then read Bogokov. It's all written there. He read the Gospels quite carefully and possessed much higher artistic mastery than the four evangelists put together. Same goes for his literary talent. Therefore, read Bulgakov.